All right, guys, uh, I got an old Craftsman garage door opener that has dip switches uh, right here. But I got a universal remote here from Amazon that has dip switches in it, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you how to program one of these to the Craftsman slash Sears older style garage door opener. I just want to mention this universal remote from Amazon is the uh, the only one that I could get to sync up with my garage door opener, uh, my Sears slash Craftsman garage door opener with dip switches. I bought a Genie and a LiftMaster universal re remote with dip switches, and I couldn't get either one of those to match up. This was uh, about eleven dollars on Amazon, and those were about thirty at Home Depot. So it'll just save you a little bit of headache on trying to figure out which one to buy. Buy this one off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. So I got the, the old uh, remote here torn apart. As you can see, the dip switches right here. Um, I've already gone ahead and matched these up besides one. Uh, these pretty much just switch up and down. You take a screw, whatever. So you pretty much just match them to your garage door or your... So once I got the uh, dip switches lined up here, go ahead and hit the learn button. And then which button, whichever button you want to use. And then I believe I'm going to have to hit it either nine or ten times for the Craftsman. So here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. So once I have the garage door alert, go ahead and hit the learn button again, and you should be good to go. If that helped you guys out, please hit the like and subscribe button.